Hello friends, hello loves. Today I wanted to just take a little pause in our typical journal writing challenge and be more genuine and authentic in talking to you. This is my dog, Guaidi, and I wanted to show you a couple things that have really helped me in my journal writing challenge. It's a Saturday morning, so I wanted to be real with you about things that I have that have really inspired me um, during, during this challenge and just in journal writing in general. So here are a couple things that I wanted to show you. So first of all, these are a couple of my journals that I have had over the years, so I just wanted to share them with you. This, I have different journals for different things. So this journal is um, my idea journal. So I write in it, you see my pen is in it. I write in this journal when I am thinking through this journal challenge, when I'm thinking through um, just ideas that I have. One of the challenges I've set for myself personally is to be more aware of how much I'm sleeping because that's always been something that I have had trouble with is to get a decent amount of sleep. So for the last uh, maybe 20, 15 days now, I've been tracking my sleep patterns and really trying to figure out. So every morning when I wake up, I write down when I went to bed and when I woke up and I just reflect on how do I feel. And then this journal and this journal are just journals that I've been using. I like experimenting with different kinds of journals because each one is like a different feel for me and I love that. This journal is one that my mom actually gifted me and what I I mean this was like the first time I felt like my mom really saw me is she gifted this to me for a, a Christmas gift and you'll see that in the journal are my initials JCB so I just feel like wow these are so special to me I love these journals this is the journal I'm currently writing in um, no this is the journal I'm currently writing in and then and so she gave me two of the same each one has my initials. And then this is a journal from way back, maybe a couple years ago. And what I love about this journal is inside of it, there are quotes throughout, like this one says on the front, say things to the world that are true. And it's a good reminder of what to do, what to say, when you're being authentic, when you feel authentic, write authentically. A lot of times with journal writing, we get stuck in, oh, I want it to sound good. I want it to um, come across in a well-written way, like a high school uh, report or like a college paper, right? And journal writing is only for you. You're the only one that's writing it. So it's like, you don't have to worry about whether it sounds eloquent or whether it is you know, sounding educational or coming across in a proper grammar, none of that really matters. All that matters is that it's a therapeutic experience for you. Like you feel in journal writing that you're able to get in touch with your truest self. And that's all that journal writing is about. It's really about getting in touch with your truest self. You know, it's like, that's your girlfriend or boyfriend or, whatever you call your friends, that's your time to chat with your inner self. And that's your time to connect with your inner self. And this is really special to me because this is my first journal that I ever wrote in. And yes, I still have it. This is the first journal that I was gifted maybe when I was like, I don't know, let me look, let me open it. Yeah, you could see you can see right here, the date is December 11th, 1993. So in 1993 was the first time that I started journal writing. Can you believe that? This journal is, well, it's old. 
you know <laughs> I was born in 1985 so this is from 1993 so that means that it's I was what like seven years old eight years old when I wrote in that is that right I can ask my partner if she's recording me. Oh, let me see eight yeah I was eight years old okay so I was eight years old when I started journal writing let's just see what the first entry on December 11 you can see how short it was I'm gonna read it I don't know what I wrote either so we're gonna get into this but I said dear diary at this time I guess I called it diary I don't feel well it's almost Christmas and I don't have any presents well what I mean is I don't have any presents for other people you know like uncles and aunts well anyway it's snowing and I still don't feel well. December 11th, 1993. And today is April 11th, <laughs> 2020. So it's interesting as a eight year old, what I was writing about, right? And even though this was like a short paragraph, I want to encourage all of you to think about that, right? It's like, I wrote that when I was alone by myself. And these were my own inner thoughts that I shared because I didn't feel like I could talk to anyone about it. Does this all make sense? No, but they were just random thoughts I was feeling. I didn't feel good at that time. Maybe I didn't know how to express why I didn't feel well, but I knew I didn't, you know? So it's like to think about why you're writing something, it's not as important. It's to think about just getting it onto the page to get your emotions onto the page, you know? And then the next time I wrote in this was February 8th, 1994. So it's like, we have to think about just being our genuine authentic selves. So for today's challenge, for the 11th day of our journal challenge, I'd like to encourage you to think about just being and ask yourself what are the things that you need to let go of and this is something i'm working on especially during this time what are the things that you need to let go of so you can just be of course i'd like you to always start off your journal with gratitude right thinking about three things you're grateful for and why because that always sets a positive mood for the day but then when you do your question for reflection, the question can just be, how can I just be? What am I doing when I just feel like, when I feel like I'm just being, when I'm just myself? And that's why today I'm just wearing my pajamas. This is what I wear, you know, when I'm home. And it's important to reflect on just being because that's when you can truly step into your authenticity. So ask yourself today, how can I just be? be myself and what are the things that I need to let go of so I can just be you know because we hold on to a lot of things so it's important to think about what are the things we're holding on to because we're scared we're not going to get any more of it or we feel like we don't know where the next thing is going to come from what can you let go of so you could just be your truest most authentic most genuine self Thank you so much for watching this video. I'd love to hear from you. I did it differently today. You know, I don't have any cards. I just was talking. So if you like this version, if this version really works for you, let me know in the comments. If you have any questions about the journal challenge, let me know. Um, I'd love to hear from you. If you want to share your journal challenge with me, you can tag me at Julia Speaks Love, or you can put it in our community hashtag, which is Julia Journal Challenge. And as always, if you'd like to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, you can send me a DM. I hope you have a beautiful Saturday. Remember how amazing you are. And I'll talk to you in the next challenge tomorrow. Bye.